Hi, welcome back to another episode of European X News. I'm your host, Tommy Sai, and today we have a very special guest straight from the United States of America. And let me just introduce you, Stella Sedona. Thank you for having me. Yeah, nice to be here. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Good. So, tell us something about you. How, when did you start this whole industry? Yeah, so I actually started this a couple of years ago, in the middle of the pandemic. <laughs> you know, you're in lockdown, kind of wondering, what do I do with myself? And, well, I'm kind of naughty, so I thought maybe I could take some pictures and post them online and see what happens. So, you know, I think it was a really fun experience. I kind of started off just on Reddit, actually, mm -hmm. of all places, um, and found a cool, like, online community that supported all my slutty little adventures. Cool. <laughs> so, yeah, I had a lot of fun with that. My partner, um, he, like, loves taking pictures and doing photography, so we were kind of the perfect team, you know? What was the reaction? your friends, family, all this? Um, I think for the most part it was really positive actually. I think a lot of my friends especially weren't surprised, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Um, they were really supportive and just let me be myself. Okay. Um, my family on the other hand, not so supportive, you know, they're very conservative. Okay. And so they were just like, what are you doing? Like, this is crazy. Um, so, you know, it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but I think if you can find the right people to understand you and accept you, that's ultimately what matters the most. And you are from? I'm from Colorado in Colorado. the Rocky Mountains. Okay. Yeah, so it's a really, really beautiful place. If you ever uh -huh. get the chance, I'd love to host you. It's so many like amazing places, especially if you like nature. But you moved to LA, right? Yes, mm -hmm. so I moved to Los Angeles because a lot of the industry is there. Many of the studios shoot there, a lot of my friends and other content creators live in Los Angeles. And so I wanted to, you know, really give it all. And so I was like, let's move to Los Angeles and give it a try. So last summer I kind of relocated there, tried out a couple different neighborhoods and mm -hmm. really found my spot. So I'm happy with it and like, it's just a really fun space to be in because there's so many other creative people there. Um, so I like it a lot because you can be inspired by people around you. Tell me, who is Stella Sedona? <laughs> like, like yeah. how you pick this name? Tell us something about that. Yeah, so Stella Sedona is your classic American girl next door. Okay. You know, um, when I was in college, I actually studied astronomy. And so you're Italian, you know, Stella means star. <laughs> so I thought that was like a cute name to kind of pick for myself. Um, and then Sedona is one of my favorite places to go on vacation. Oh. I think it's really beautiful. It's a really special place in my heart. So it's like when you're picking a name, it's like find something that makes you happy. So mm -hmm. I was like, and also I like the way that it flows together. Stella uh -huh. Sedona. I think it's a feminine and elegant name. So I wanted to like pick something that represented me while also sounding cool. <laughs> so I thought... I thought it worked. Okay, you started this business, you started to do acting. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that doing or working in the adult industry changed things in your private life? Like sexually, you learned something or you, uh, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. I think it has opened a lot of doors for me, that's for sure, because I think Throughout my life, I've always been an extremely sexual person. Um, I dated a lot, like in high school, and then I actually went to a women's college, and mm -hmm. so I kind of opened my sexuality and discovered that I liked women as well. Um, and, you know, I think working an adult, you get to meet all these different people and really express yourself in a way that I think can be really accepting. I mm -hmm. think it's a cool community where you can kind of you know, just find other people that are like you. And so I think it's been like a really fun journey for me um, to just be able to find a community that supports me. 
Um, I definitely now identify as like a polyamorous person because I'm actually married. Um, and so when my husband and I got into this, we were kind of like trying to figure out how we wanted to be. It's like, are you an open marriage? Are you going to be polyamorous? Um, how do you express your sexuality? Because obviously on the internet, a lot of people are going to, you know, see you and have right. ideas about you. And so I think just really finding my identity within it has been super empowering for me. Mm -hmm. And do you do things in your private life that you don't do in front of the camera, vice versa? Um, I mean, I think I've done a, like, let's see. I also enjoy having sex off camera, if that's what you're asking. Okay. Like, I think it's really important to have a balance. Mm -hmm. I like to go on dates with other people that I don't necessarily film that aren't in the industry. It helps me to just feel like it's a holistic sex life, you mm -hmm. know? And especially like with my husband, we don't film every time we have sex, you know? It's like really important to me that I keep some of that for myself, right. you know? Because I think it's easy to get lost when you're shooting every day or, you know, trying to monetize all aspects of your sex life. So for it to be like personal and just kind of like keep myself excited, <laughs> I like to, you know, have a sex life off camera as well. <laughs> You worked like more than a year in the States, right? Mm -hmm. Then you traveled here in Europe. Two things. Yeah. Why? <laughs> and the second one is, is there a difference work-wise between the two? Yeah. You know? <clears throat> um, well, I really wanted to travel again because I started this in the pandemic and I really didn't travel at all. Um, prior to the pandemic, I used to travel all the time abroad, um, all over the world. And so I really missed that experience of being in a new culture and just getting to explore different places. And so I was like, you know, I'd heard that there was a lot of work in Budapest, you know, it's like kind of the center of the porn industry abroad. And I was like, I've never been there before. So I thought it would be a fun opportunity to go there. And I also, you know, have been to um, Morocco several times mm -hmm. and really, really love it. And we have a lot of good friends there. So I wanted to go back um, to Morocco as well. And so it was like kind of an opportunity to go across the pond, so to speak. So I was like, you know, I think it'll be a fun time to just go and get out of my comfort zone a little bit. And what's the biggest difference between European and American productions? Um, I would definitely say the language mm -hmm. is very different because in the U.S. everyone speaks English for the most part, um, but here, I mean, the set that you and I were on, there were like five different languages, mm -hmm. you know, and not being able to speak to the performers as directly I think is challenging for me just because it's like, then they, you are having sex with someone, right. and I personally like to have a connection with whoever sure. I'm working with, so it's I think harder to find that it's not impossible like um the girl alice that we shot with like she and i have been you know communicating on instagram after mm -hmm. and like i feel like i really connected with her even though it was mostly through body language right so i think it's like it's been a really interesting experience for me to just see how you can connect and communicate even beyond just using words mm -hmm. now that you're living or spending your time really <laughs> fast. Uh, what do you plan to do during the rest, of, uh, the rest of the year? Well, I'm planning on going back to Los Angeles for the summer, which I'm really excited about. I want to shoot a bunch, both for my OnlyFans and for some of the studios there. And then in the fall, I'm hoping to go to Colorado because mm. I'm actually working on another project right now to develop a piece of land okay. way up in the mountains. Um, we're planning on putting up a little cabin and running like ski tours and yoga retreats and all kinds of fun stuff So in the fall, I'm gonna dedicate my time to developing that project That's nice. Um, yeah, and then probably over the holidays just spend time with friends and family and I mean Maybe I'll come back to Budapest next spring. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I really hope so. Yeah <laughs> So I have some questions here for you that I found on the internet mm -hmm. and you just have to Tell me if they're true or false <laughs> Ooh, okay. Sounds fun. <laughs> uh, so the first one is uh, Stella is a prominent model Instagram star and social media scarlet. Is that true? <laughs> Well, I'd certainly like to think so. That's very flattering, so I'll take that as a compliment. Well, this is what the internet <laughs> says. So, the next one is, uh, 
She is also interested in beauty, and she's an expert on beauty concepts. Hmm. I would say I think that's I think that's true. Yeah, I I definitely enjoy like doing hair and makeup and having fun with beauty. I don't know if I'm an expert. I think it's like very hard to really like narrowly choose what beauty is. So I think that's uh, one up for debate. <laughs> okay. So the next one mm -hmm. is she has gathered millions of followers on Instagram. <laughs> That's definitely false. False. No, I do not have that big of a following, um, but maybe someday we'll get there. You'll have it. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, next one. She looks stunning, captivating, and attractive. Ooh. I this hope is that's what people true. say. <laughs> Thank okay. You. <laughs> uh, she's an animal lover, especially dogs and cats. Mm, false. False. No, I do not have pets. I'm not that into animals. You're allergic to um, dog hair, cat hair? No, no, I'm not even allergic. I'm definitely more of a cat person than a dog person, mm. but I just travel so much. I've not really been able to have pets. You know? Okay. <laughs> So this one, the last one is a bit more personal. Ooh. Okay. It says, her family hasn't, uh, wasn't supportive of her decision of compete as a pornographic actress, mm -hmm. instead preferring her to focus on school and athletics. That is definitely true. Athletics? <laughs> yes. My oh. dad was actually a professional tennis player. And okay. so he really wanted me to play tennis. Um, tennis. I'm actually, That's yeah. Good. I played in college for a bit, and fun fact, I did actually do it for a porn movie. So you wow. never know when your skills are going to come in handy. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, your plans for the future? You told me that that you wanted to do that that thing in, in Colorado, mm -hmm. but, but regarding adult industry, do you have any you know dreams that you would like you would like to accomplish or something? Um, yeah, I mean, I really just want to keep growing. I love what I'm doing. I want to just expand and be able to like make more productions that are more narrative driven. Mm -hmm. I think like when I first got started, I did a lot of gonzo scenes, which are just kind of like, you know, show up, have sex, it's a row you sex. know, yeah. uh, which I do think is really fun. I quite enjoy that because there's a lot of passion, especially mm -hmm. with people that I have good chemistry with. But I would love to expand more and get into more narrative kind of things. So I'd love to, you know, expand my studio work um, so that I can create a bigger portfolio so I can like make cool movies. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Last question. Mm -hmm. What kind of advice would you give to the girls who want to start to do this business tomorrow? Um, be absolutely authentically yourself at all times. There's going to be a million different voices telling you what to do, who to be, where to go, all these different things for advice. Um, but honestly, just be yourself. It's really, really important to stay true to who you are and set your boundaries and stick to them because I think that's really the most important thing is to have persistence and endurance because you might look around and see people that, you know, became really famous overnight, but really it was years in the making to have that moment to just like shine through. So be patient, be persistent, and stay true to yourself so you don't get burnt out. <laughs> Great. Stella, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> and I really hope to see you back here in Budapest. Yes. You know. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd love to. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.